Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 8 of our Bielsa-styled journeyman. We are at Volin Lusk in the Ukraine, and just to catch you guys up, we're past the transfer window. Just a couple of moves. Uh, the first move, we brought in a new reserve striker uh, on loan, v Vladislav Lushka from Dnipro 1. He's 17 years old, he's got solid finishing. Uh, you know, he's not going to be any great shakes, but I just wanted another striker in depth. And the reason that we need that is because we sold our leading scorer. How could you do that, RC? Well, we got an offer for him for about $4 million, $4.4 .4 million to be exact. And you can see he's only a 59 rating, so he's not he's not the greatest player in the world. But he's solid, and he he had scored seven and eleven. I get all that, but he's he is twenty nine. He's making ninety three thousand a month, so he's one of our highest paid players. And when we rejected the four point four million, thinking we'll reject it and we'll just be done with it, he pitched a fit, and I had to have a meeting with him. And we said, I said, I did sell him on the idea that we had a lot of young players that were going to be pretty good and because he wanted to challenge for league titles. And I get that. And I said, I can't promise you. In fact, I think the exact quote in the meeting was, I would be disingenuous if I promised you that we would compete for league titles this year. But that we had young players that were up and coming and some, a few of them would be really good and we should be challenging next season. And he said, you know what? You're right. We do have some good players. So I sold him on the idea. However, I had gone ahead and thrown, thrown a $12 million price tag on him and I got a bid. Well, 12 and a half million to be, uh, is what I asked for. And I got an offer. For twelve and a half million, it was ten and a half up front, so it's a big chunk of change. And I said, you know what? I looked at his ratings. I looked at some of the other guys, and I said, eh, I think I can afford to get rid of this guy. So I did. I mean, he he's really good. Let's compare him because this is the guy that I think is going to be replacing him is Philip Camps. He was valued at eight million dollars, so not much less. He's also twenty nine years old, but he's on half the wages. And honestly, they're pretty, pretty similar, pretty similar. So I'm not too worried because Camps is a guy going, you know, that I've liked since we started this save, and really wanted to give him some opportunities. So. Zub Zubkov goes out twelve and a half million. That brings us to seventy three million for the year, and we're up to fifty five point six million in the bank. We've got a lot of transfer budget. I just you know I couldn't spend any more money without just being stupid, and I didn't see the need to be stupid. And we really need some of this money because I think we are going to be losing significantly now that we've signed some of these other players. Because we did sign a couple of pretty pricey players, you may recall. 1.9, 2.5, 3.1, 3.3 3 million. So, uh, also, we had signed uh, Dwight, uh, Dwight DeLecha. I'm, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, Dwight DeLecha. And he's got a 15 finishing. I'd like to give him a start. Uh, in fact, I think we may start him today if he is eligible because I'm not sure if he's eligible for cup action yet. Maybe not until we trigger the next uh, round of action if we make it. So since la since the friendlies and everything, uh, there's there's your friendly scores. Uh, we beat Ludogrets 3-1 to one in the first match. Bidney. Uh, Kamziak and Philip Camps with his a goal in that match. And then medal, uh, bottom of the table, 3 nothing win. Uh, Krachinski, Camps, and Vera, so both strikers, Camps scoring in back-to-back -back games. So we're playing Ludogratz in the second knockout round uh, home leg with a 3-1 advantage. 
So, you know, we've got we've got the leg up. So let's see what happens with that match today. Remember, new format, one match, extended highlights. All the names are on at your request. So we're going into our second week of matches in this format. So give it a couple of more days. Uh, so at the end of this week, let me know in the comments if you like the new format. Do you want to go back to two matches, longer episodes? And, uh, you know, we'll take it under advisement. But I'm getting some positive feedback, so, you know, I do appreciate that. All right, we're going to go with Heidenreich in the goal, Stoika, Radionov, Bidnyi, and Yarmolenko on the back line. Kamsiak, Roma, Roma, uh, Romanenko. This save is going to be the death of me, I swear. Roman, Romanenko in the mid, Tarashenko and Fidrich on the wings, Simic and Vera. I'm, mm, mm. see, it's a cut match, so a lot of these guys we can't play. Tell you what, I'm going to bring, he is eligible. Let's give him a start. Let's give Delecha a start. And I want Camps on the right wing. Let's go there. A little bit of snow on the pitch today, so that's going to be interesting. And we go immediately to a kickoff highlight. So we've got snow on the pitch and rain falling, which tells me it's going to be slush. Even though I, oh, taken down, Camps draws the foul from Genov, or Genov. Kamziak's going to take the set piece into the box. So the team's been playing pretty well. Oh, there's a header out, and they've got three runners. And a big counter opportunity here. Yamachenko did really good to cut off the outlet pass to Kotkanyev. There we go. Nice clearance. Gives us a little time to get our bearings. Still looking for our first opportunity here. Stoika, and it is slotted home. Carlos Vera puts in his 13th of the season. Vera's been a good player for us since getting him at the be beginning of this year, if I remember correctly. I want to go in. Let me just double check something. Camera. Replay. Oh, I like that behind the goal, please. I am thinking that's going to be a better, better setup. I, I usually go behind the goal. All right, Yarmolenko. Into camps. Oh, he's looking at that far post. Let me look at another camera here. No, don't like that one. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think director is the way to go there. TV has the same angle, but it's farther out. All right, let's encourage the entire team. Camps controls it. Can he draw another foul? Crossed in, and oh, what a save by Panit Yeltov. Maybe? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. We didn't get a goal, and that makes it 4-1 on aggregate, by the way. Oh, there's another shot on target. And a Yotav with another save. Three shots on target, but only a 0.47 XG. They only have a 0.05. Oh my goodness, that's usually a top shelf goal. Very nice attempt. All right, let's uh let's demand a little more here. I want to actually see some conclusion to some of this. I'm trying to burn down the stadium again. That must be why it's made out of this concrete and rebar. <laughs> that uh it's so odd to see that just because it's not. You can't do that in the States. So, anyway. 
Oh, while this is going on, let's. Uh, I do want to welcome a couple of people. Uh, bounce back, a uh, bounce back ability. Welcome to the channel, Aaron uh, Winnick. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, welcome to the channel. So a couple of new guys here in the last week. So I wanted to make sure I gave them the welcome. Appreciate you guys coming by and giving a subscription. Or and uh, look forward to uh, hearing you in the comments as well. The Lecha with his first highlight, I believe, huge chance goes begging as the game tells me. So we're seeing a lot of highlights, just not a lot of finishes here. We've been the better team, I think. Camps out on the right flank. That's up into space. Tarashenko, Delesha cannot get that one into the box. That was a good opportunity. He's playing a 6-7 according to the ratings. And that is too bad. But we are up to a 1.38, so that makes our one goal look about right. Uh, let's do point finger. All right, motivated, complacent. God, all right. Make up your mind, boys. Uh, demand more. And we go straight to a kickoff highlight. Come on, fellas. I'm just checking out the uh, game ratings. Heidenreich's playing a 6 Five. Okay, let's pull an early sub here. I'm going to go ahead and move camps in for Delesha. And then Delesha comes off. You know, he can play out there, and he can actually cross the ball reasonably well. Mazarenko, let's bring him on in the midfield, get rid of the yellow. But let's just swap and see how that affects things here in the second half. Because Camps has scored two in a row up in the striker slot. Oh, two shots on goal. And Panayatov with the save. He's playing a 7-2. All right, let's um, let's fire them up. All right, let's pull a second sub here. We do have Bidney being complacent. Everybody seems to be playing okay. Camps is on a six-five. That could be better. A lot of complacency. Wow. Don't have another midfielder. I could bring Simic up for Camps, but I just moved Camps. Don't want to really do that. Let's bring Tarashenko on for Bidney. He's tired and complacent. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go with focus as soon as we can find it. Oh, uh, taken down. Looked like it was on the edge of the box. Going over to the telly, as they say in Europe. Checking VAR. I don't think it was a penalty. I think it was outside the box. But I didn't get a good look at it. And they give us a penalty. All right, we'll take it. There go the flares again, and Komzik lines up to take the kick. He's on the spot, and he drills it in. 2-0 advantage. 5-1 on aggregate. And that should be enough to see us through all right let's go ahead and make one last sub go ahead and make that move there see if we can't just coast home with this that was a poor throw in it was a short throw and he still couldn't get it to his player oh well, yamachenko in tons of space delesha in the box Squared in, Vera gets it blocked. 
Another block. Very good defense. And that one just gets hoofed out of play. That's all right. Run the clock out. We'll take that. Solid 2-0 victory. Uh, yellow card. I did not see who that was on. I don't see anything on my dashboard there. That must have been against their player. All right, and there's full time. So we have uh, advanced. We are going to go uh, hands on hip, inspired, motivated, a little complacency. Delesha makes his debut. Volin win in the second knockout round. And we have a draw. That's a nice little payout, $411,000. Yeah, we have a draw today for the semifinals. Can we win some more silverware? That would be astounding all right the quarterfinals and the semifinals so let's check the draw so we are in the final eight so let's see Ajax CSKA Moscow Rangers Aok Tranmere Tranmere they're the one team from England and they're in the Premier League remember we are 30 years in the future uh, <laughs> That's astounding. I'm trying to find the isn't there a where you can can see the history here? I don't know. All right, we can see I know I know I can see it here, but this isn't the one that shows the the line graph. All right, but let's see. They won the Euro Cup and the European Super Cup, the FA Cup and the FA Cup runner-up in the last 10 years. One, uh, runner-up in the championship in 2038. Won League One in 2033. League Two in 2025. Okay. So they've been up for a little while. They've been up for a little while. All right, so let's see. I, I think... Hello. How you doing, bud? I would rather not face them. Fred wanted in on the action here. Say hi to everybody, Fred. All right, so we don't get Ajax. That's probably good. I'm going to say Tranmere is going to be a tough out, just that they've been an established Premier League side. And we don't get CSK Moscow. That's reassuring. I don't think we can get Ingolets, but maybe at this at this stage we can. So we're going to get Payok. Greece, right? Yes. And we draw home, which eh, I would rather not get that. So then we, if we advance, then we'll get Tranmere or CSKA Moscow. So we, you know, if we advance, we'll get the harder harder leg, I guess. But hey, we're in the final eight. So that's actually really good. So where does that come into the schedule? I tell you what, I am going to bypass uh, the Zoria game. And we'll come back for Payok in the quarterfinals. We'll come back for the second leg. Because again, only one match per episode. Normally I would show you both of those. But maybe what I'll do is I'll record the very end of that match as like an intro, just, you know, a couple, you know, a minute or so. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Well, guys, hit the like button, subscribe. And uh, again, forgive me for my uh, foo bars on the pronunciation of everything. I do try my best, but most everything I do is phonetic if I have no clue. And I'm finding that, especially in my Netherlands save, there's nothing phonetic about it. So I'm, I've been told I am way off base, which is okay. But you guys know I've made no secret. But anyway, thanks for checking the channel out. If you are new, please give a subscription if you like what I'm doing. And uh, hope you come back. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.